Hey folks, how's everybody doing? Take a little walk down to the end of Beloit Beach. Me and Janice, wife number two, just strolling along. We're gonna take a jeepney up to Subic Town. Jeepney ride. Yeah, we, we went all day with Jason riding around the, the mountain over there, so I'm gonna leave him alone today, but let him have a break. We're just gonna take a jeepney up there. How much is it, baby? 20 pesos? Yeah. 20 or 15 like that. So 15 or 20 pesos to get up to Subic Town. That's about, what, 40 cents US money. And so, Thanks for riding along with us today. We just decided to forego the checkpoint over there and all the hustle and the bustle in front of Divi Mart and the river. And just decided to come down here and stimulate the local economy and have the boat captains take us across the, the Mata Inn River. Have I ever taken you across the river on this river cruise? Huh? No? Okay. So I take Janice on this little river cruise. <laughs> so thanks for joining us on today's walk, my friends. If you're not a subscriber on our channel, right there, bottom right hand corner of your screen, hit that subscribe button and smash the bell. Doosh, 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 doosh. Where you get notified <laughs> when our next blockbuster film comes across. These kids down here playing a game. What's the name of this game, baby? Pool. Pool. It's not okay. pool. Hey. Hold on, let's go over here and check it out. I don't know what's that. Oh, so they're playing a game over here. We gotta check it out. <laughs> okay, so he put the he put one in the corner pocket over here. <laughs> Boom! Off the table. All right, that's a game of pool. Very similar to regular billiards, just oh, different yeah, equipment. Like ball, 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 ball. <laughs> well, I thought there might be some different Tagalog name or something. That's the same, but the the one pull it's a circle. That's when you. That's what you. Yeah. That's the same. And folks, where we pop out? If you're a faithful subscriber you've seen me come down here many times if this is the first time you've watched one of my videos basically this is the Mata Inn River and up this way is National Highway um, you know and the Mata Inn River basically separates the Long Po side from the Subic side and I just said you know what instead of walking through the hustle and bustle uh, up there by the entrance to Beloit Beach and the river and Divi Mart and the cops and the checkpoint. I said, let's just go across the river. And here's our riverboat captain. All you do is stand here at the bank. And the captain will come over and pick you up. Here you go. So me and Janice are on the beautiful, romantic river cruise across the Monta Inn River. All right, right there, Subic Bay. And here's a look around. And the river looks a little stirred up today. Usually you can see the bottom right here. Now baby, next time I'll bring the chicharrones where it can be the all-you-can-eat pork Mata Inn River Cruise. You'll be so excited about that, honey. Watch out for the tilapia. We got tilapia everywhere. Sound collision. All right. Folks, too cool. And out here on the sandbar, we got people you know, when it's low tide, these sandbars come up out there and people actually take the girls out there, barbecue, swim. Got a naval or coast guard ship out in the bay. But we're not here to party, folks. We're headed up to Subic Town. Yeah, see all the fish there? We can come down here and catch the fish, baby. I've come here fishing before, but I, I couldn't catch the tilapia. Okay. All right, follow me, girl. So once you get off the boat, this is basically the port here. This is the port of Monta Inn. I don't know. I'll follow her. Hello, my friends. How are you? Hello. How are you? How are you? Fine, fine. I'm good. fine, fine. <laughs> All right, good. You fine. Are you building a new boat? Yeah, I built it. So this is the, the beginnings of a new boat. Yeah. How long will it take you to finish the boat? Uh, how long? 
Yeah, how many months? No months. No? A week now. Two weeks and you'll finish this boat. If somebody wants to buy one of these boats, how much would you charge them to build a small boat? Small? Long. It's uh, 20, 20 foot. Seven, that's that's know, 70. Oh, 70. About 70,000? So 70,000 yeah, 70, for uh, a 20 foot boat. And it could take a, about two weeks to build? Okay. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Little lazy dog. Hey, just come up through this alley here. I call this the port of Mataan. This is the port, baby. You've never been to this port before. I know this. You've you been? Know what me this oh, okay. I thought that was it. I, I was thinking about my other girlfriends. Basically, that boat, the gentleman was saying it was 20,000 pesos for the materials. Well, that's about $400 US for the materials. And he was going to charge, what, 70,000 for the whole boat? Yeah. So he was charging, uh, what's that, 50,000 pesos, about 1,000 US dollars for labor to build that boat over two weeks. Now, obviously, that's the foreign guy price because the foreign guy is standing in front of him. But if you want that gentleman to build you a 20 foot fishing boat, you're looking at uh, $1,400 out the door. Does not include the engine. Come up here to the highway and we'll wait on us a Jeep. Before this lockdown, there was a crazy phenomenon about these jeepneys. And it's called there is always room for one more on board a jeepney, right? There could be 82 people in the back of that Jeep, and there's always room for one more. Now they've got these little plastic dividers. How did you know this area? Because I'm a gangster. <laughs> she said she lived here her whole life and didn't know about the, the boat. Right, let's go, baby. Come on. So folks, just cross the road. You see, basically, where we come out at, you're wondering where this boat crossing is? It's right across from Bingo. Some bicyclists coming through. Shout out to them. Get some good exercise in. Headed up the road. And so all we do is stand here. Stand in here and uh, when, a, when a jeepney approaches, she's just gonna wave, you know, hold up her hand, wave the dude down. And they'll pull over and we're gonna jump in the back. my bull anti bullshit device on maybe there's no jeepneys Let's go walking. you want to walk a little ways <laughs> you know why she wants to walk because we're out here in the sun so she wants to go way up here there that shade she does not want to stand in this open sun it's a thing that you're gonna learn about Folks in this country, they do not like the sun. They don't want to stand in the sun. Because I'm so black. And I do. Baby, I like my women black. Just like my pork chops, my chicken, my steak. I like black women. Alright, so I'll stand right here. We're in the shade now. We'll just kind of watch her, watch her technique of waving down the jeepney. first before you ride. Let me get digging to the pocket here. Here you go, baby. Is that enough? I think it's 20 pesos up there. 40, 40 cents up there to Subi Town. Okay, one more. You got one more? There. back over to, over to the post office. Oh, come around this way. Baby, 
baby. I promised to take you to the Jolly Bee. And here we are at the Jolly Bee. I didn't promise to take you inside. I just promised. I just promised that I would take you to the Jolly Bee, not inside the Jolly Bee. Next time you gotta be more specific. It's a little uh, traffic jam here at the Jolly Bee. You come to City Hall if you're looking for the post office and cut down between the municipal building and the police. Back here, Phil Post. Right back here in the corner. Shout out to these folks up here. They, they've always been good to me here at the post office. Never had a problem getting, a, getting my mail or packages. And you just come up come up to the window right here and say, ah, yo. All right, folks, so this is some good information. If your Filipino needs a Philippine postal ID, maybe try to zoom in on this. Okay, so what you do you bring, let Janice tell you, what do you do? You bring what? certificate, then Barangay B runs, then you come here to give to Kuya, then you need to pay. Okay, so you, if you're applying for this, you need your the, you need birth certificate, pay. birth certificate, Barangay clearance, and you bring that information here and pay, and then they're going to schedule you for the data capturing and fingerprint up at Costalejo's post office on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday from 8 to 5. I think that's how it works right there. Uh, 500 pesos. So you're going to bring the birth certificate, barangay clearance, 500 pesos. This gentleman is going to process it. And then you're going to go to Costalejo's post office for the data capturing. And then you'll get it back in what, one month? Yeah. Okay, so back in one month. There you go. That's how to get the Philippine Postal ID if you're here in Subic. That's what the Philippine Postal ID looks like right there. And apparently that's a real good ID to have if you're Filipino don't have it. You gotta send them up here to get it. Okay baby, so you know where we're gonna go? We don't know. We go to Jollibee. Not Jollibee. <laughs> we're gonna walk all the way to the Walter Mart. Uh -huh. You know Walter Mart, right? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna walk up to the Walter Mart. Then, after that? We're gonna walk back to Barrio Barreto. Walk all day night long? Yeah, you got your comfortable shoes on. I got my blue suede shoes on. Can you ask the boy in there? Can I ride with you? Ride with who? The police, the popo. Yeah, the popo, they'll give you a free <laughs> ride to the jailhouse, I imagine. They gave me a free ride before. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh. They gave me a free ride to the police that's station. A, that's not a good ride. <laughs> ah, they were friendly. I didn't go to the jail, so it was a good, it was a good ride. All right, folks. Swing her wide here without getting run over. Folks, if you're looking for some motorcycles, right next to the Atal, the motorcycle place. That's Got a no, Honda. Baraco, same like I go again. Yeah, the Baraco. But what's cool, they got these little white things over here. Come on over here. This, these are the ones I want. What? Yeah, these little... Like on Lazada. <laughs> yeah, like the Lazada delivery trucks. Those things are too cool. Yeah, that's a new one right there. Which one you want, the white one or the blue one? The blue one. Look like that. Oh, yeah, because you got a back seat back there. Yeah, those are cool. But where we're at, we're right next to the uh, Atal. Right there. Here's a pure gold grocery store. It's good to see that there's no line. If you'll recall back during the lockdown, you have people lined up all the way around this corner just to get into pure gold. It's this nice building here. Okay, now here nobody stops for pedestrians in the crosswalk. So you got to be very careful when crossing. All right, we made it unscathed. Got a birthing home up here next to Angel Burger. Got a little construction site going on. Gentleman here making concrete. That's how the concrete's made here. Hello. And they just haul it up there on that bucket. Hello. Don't see many concrete trucks in this country unless you're probably down in Manila. They just deliver the bags 
and they hand mix it on site. And that operation that you just saw was actually pretty high tech compared to most of the work sites. They just mix everything by hand. Whoa, whoa. Got all kind of little bags. It's a little variety shop. We got camelback bags. We got shorts. Oh, got a couple generators. If you're looking for a generator, a welding machine. Yeah, I think one of these bags would be a good tackle box for me. World pack. We got a weed eaters. That might be a good tackle box right there. Right here. Maybe they got some good burgers. What's up, people? <laughs> Rolling in the 5.0. You got the Jeep and you just pulled a big ass U-turn like, like a boss. That dude cut a U-turn with buses coming. I mean, I'm talking the bus was coming, a trike, the popo, -po, a man on the bicycle, and that dude just whipped the U-turn, flipped the bitch like a boss. I love that dude. Folks, you know, when you're, when you're riding down the road in a vehicle, I would say you miss 95% of what life has to offer on both sides of the road. You have to. You ride a motorbike, you probably miss 70%. You ride a bicycle, you miss probably 50%. But when your ass is walking, if your ass is walking, looking left and right, you, you see all what life has to offer, what the area has to offer. here called Icy Licious. Icy Licious smoothies never tasted this good. Shout out to uh, a Shardy Roll. We got to meet one of Janice's titas. Baby, what's your tita's name? Nicole. Huh? Nicole. Nicole? Nicole. Nicole? We gotta say shout out, shout out to uh, Tita Nicole. I'm not sure where she went, but shout out to you, girl. We ran into her up there at the A Town. Now we just saw her on the side of the road. Like she teleported down the street a bit. This gentleman over here doing a little construction, doing a little welding. I guess he's thinking about his next move, making a fence of some sort. I'd love to just buy like a thousand welding helmets, like real proper welding helmets. Just walk around this country and give out proper welding helmets to all these guys that weld while holding a piece of cardboard in front of their face. Three to get ready now. Can't go, but don't you step on my blue suede shoes. Gentleman over here, jackhammering out with a with a nail and a hammer. We're gonna take down that whole pole. Hello, ho. Take it down that whole pole with a hammer and a nail. We call that a homemade jackhammer. All right, folks, we got our business done here at the Baltimore. And I told Janice I might take her up to Johnny's and see what he's got at the bamboo shop. Yeah. You want to go look at the bamboo? All right, let's go. We'll go see what Johnny's got up there at the bamboo shop. Johnny. Hey, we're here. No time Johnny. like the present. Yes, Papa. Hey, baby, I, I told you once I get rich, I'm gonna buy you a new house, right? Buy a house, but that's only. I, I didn't, buy baby. Kubo. That's a brand new house. <laughs> oh, Bahai Kubo is a new house. Come on, I'm gonna show you. Let me go. Let me go show you your new house when we get rich. Look in the window. Wow, look at this, folks. Got some sidewalk. Hey, hell yeah, I got a bottom. What is that? 75 meter run, 100 meter run, a beautiful sidewalk. But uh, that's about as far as it goes, I think. 
Folks, here's Johnny's bamboo shop. Got a jet rolling through. And this, this is the chicken jail, as uh, Janice calls it. So he's got some good chicken jails. What you do, you just lift this up? Yeah, then put it out. Okay. There you go, put the minooks in there. Don't break the chicken jail, I don't want to buy the chicken jail. I don't know how to. Janice breaks the chicken jail. Oh. Here, here's what I want you to do, Janice. Can you ca catch this chicken? and put the chicken into the box and demonstrate for our subscribers how the chicken jail works. All right, folks, here's a Baha'i Kubo over at Johnny's place. Now, I haven't seen Johnny since the lockdown, but I'm really digging this unit right here. This is your new house, baby. Once we hit 100,000 subscribers, this is gonna be Janice's new home. Here is the uh, dining room. Got some shelves over there. It's got two beds. Oh yeah. So you got you got the, the, the main bed here. Then you've got the ladder going up to the uh, the kids' bed up here. It's not as big, but the kids sleep up here in the, in the loft. But they've got their own window for ventilation. What you think, baby? We can live happily ever after in this Baha'i Kubo? Hey folks, this is, this is where we brought all of our bamboo furniture, my cooking table. And you just have to come up here to see what he's got in, in stock because he doesn't, their inventory turns over. Like every time I come up here, they've sold everything that they've made and they got brand new stuff here. He's got a nice rocking chair going on. Got them chill ass beach chairs. They got some little grills. Okay, that's a nice little grill made out of uh, rebar. It's got a rebar base. Got some scoops. Here's another little Baha'i Kubo like we hang out in at the Blue Rock. And there's just a look back in here. I'm not going to spend too much time here because you can check out my previous videos. I mean, all our tables and stuff are probably the same but I did just want to stop by and see how they're doing I like this one right here this is the king's chair how much is this chair right here this throne 3500 so folks that's 70 bucks on that throne right there okay beautiful all right got some cushions cushions with this set Yeah, folks, you just have to come up here because everything is handmade. It's not coming out of a, a you know, a mass-produced assembly line. So every piece is going to be a little bit different, a little bit different in character. This price seems to be the same as it was. But you know, if you're coming here to the Philippines, hey, bamboo furniture. This is a nice little kitchen table. That is a nice little kitchen table right there. About the right height is 30. That's just a good size uh, eating table. Okay, these are brooms. Got new brooms there. Everybody needs a broom. Another little chill type beach chair. There's some homemade brooms, handmade brooms. Cool little spot, and again, right under is a wall to mark. Come over here, tell them Marco sent you. Show them the video. There's a little grill. A little burner type setup. All right, here we go. Jump on board this here vessel. Hello, how are you? <laughs> coffee shop.
on the next one. Peace out, my friend. Baby, give him a little push. Alright. Back over here. Get rid of that anti-government bullshit device. All the protection from is the bullshit.